And the award for Simp of the Year has to go to Elon Musk for his dedication of protecting Amber Heard even after her Johnny Depp trial, even after all of her antics online and just in social media, and for having to come to the rescue for her in her talks with DC with concerns about her overall public image and her eminent firing from Aquaman 2. For him to come with a, a lawyer sending a, a scorch earth letter according to Variety to save her career, that is something only a person that's head over heels in love with someone would do. And that seems to be the case with Elon Musk and Amber Heard. He seems to be going out of his way uh, to protect her and her career, everything of surrounding her. It seems like that's why she still maintains a good relationship with him, always speaking positively about Elon Musk. And uh, now I understand he's been saving her career, just protecting her. And who knows what else he's doing. And I think that seems to be the case with Elon Musk in general just all the women he's involved with uh over i don't know maybe 10 15 women that we know about and his relationships of course we know he has over 10 kids and some even speculating amber heard having one of those kids a daughter that she's out in uh living with in italy nothing's confirmed of that but it makes sense with elon musk's dedication to this girl to this actress how she may have one of his kids and how he's so uh, overly protective of her and i think that is the case i don't know what is going on in his mind to get attached to amber heard who's a walking red flag if you haven't seen the johnny depp case is she's notoriously known for pooping in his bed cutting off his finger pinky finger beating him up on camera saying no one believe you because you're a man and i'm a woman and just being a manipulative uh, person that is known to abuse her partners including women and she just has an overall terrible reputation but it seems elon musk is attracted to such uh, terrible women with reputations like that and the chaos it brings to your life and it seems like the chaos spread all over the aquaman 2 set where it just troubled all the directors walter hamada the the producer and head of warner brothers and he kind of took his firing of amber heard back because of elon musk intervention and i think that this is just adding to the craziness of this production process for aquaman 2 because we all heard about the production developments where they were doing reshooting multiple scenes including henry cavill and ben affleck taking them out including michael keaton taking him out re-editing scenes including bloody scenes uh, that involve a baby taking them out putting them back in so much things happened within the production of this overall superhero sequel that now we're hearing even more things that has us thinking what has happened with this movie we know james wan quit the the movie for a while came back they, they brought in other directors it's just so much trouble happening with this shoot uh, it's no wonder that people are just giving up on this particular sequel at dc and warner brothers we know james gunn is not promoting this film we know they just recently released a trailer just because fans were thinking this was about to be canceled and uh, that not happening is a surprise to everyone because it was a heavy rumor even from uh, tm Z saying it, there was a possibility of the film being canceled of course that's not the case it's staying on its release date in december but there's very little promotion of it there's li very little talk about it besides the controversy and i think the controversy is what's driving people interest into this uh, we know there's a popular petition out there to not include amber heard and it seems like dc was gonna follow the, what the fans wanted and uh, it looks like elon musk kind of stepped in got in the way of that and ruin dc's plans for this sequel may have forced them to lose over a billion dollars and this is something i would see that the dc sequel just the people the producers involved in the production of aquaman may hold a grudge against elon musk but what can you do against the, the richest man on the planet that is known for being a genius uh, building rockets and electric cars there's nothing you can really say against that uh, of course people want to say he, he did nothing he has no particular hand in the inventions or the products of his company but i'll let you be the idiot and say that because uh, why isn't everyone else building rockets and electric cars and brain chips everyone should do it elon musk he's an idiot he can do it everyone else should be able to do it but that's beyond the point but elon musk is the simp of the year i have to say he has a, a problem with women is that seems to be the case 
uh, as you can see his new baby mother grimes the singer is suing him for custody of the children uh, because of his sporadic parenting routines she recently came out in a, a, a article saying they live in like in a forty thousand dollar small apartment eating peanut butter all day with their three kids and how terrible that life was so elon musk has his own problems but dc is suffering for them and uh, let's read the article i'll give you my thoughts there's more happening with this set even with jason momoa attributing some problems to the set here we go report amber heard was not fired from aquaman and the lost kingdom due to threat from elon musk a wild new report claims Amber Heard was not fired from role as Mara in Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom due to a threat from Elon Musk. The new report comes from Variety's Tatiana Siegel who claims that Amber Heard was nearly fired from the film and that the studio even sent a letter to her attorney Carl Austin informing him that Heard would be let go due to a lack of chemistry with Aquaman actor Jason Momoa, former DC President of Films Walter Hamada testified in court during Johnny Depp's lawsuit against Amber Heard that DC Films did indeed have conversations about recasting her due to a lack of chemistry. So he actually stated this in court, so it's a fact they were already considering this. He stated it was the concerns that were brought up at the wrap of the first movie production of the first movie, which was the issue of chemistry. Did the two have chemistry? I think it editorially. They were able to make that relationship work in the first movie, but there was concern that it took a lot of effort to get there, he added. And we would be better off recasting, finding someone who had more natural chemistry with Jason Momoa and move toward that way. Hamada later detailed the reality is not uncommon on movies for two leads to not have chemistry. You can fabricate that chemistry. And it seems like he's just attributing the chemistry that was there in Aquaman 1. It was due to editing, scores, pieces, and just direction and not actual chemistry between the actors. So he's just coming up with any excuse to, to fire Amber Heard. And I don't blame him. Amber Heard is a blight to this film. It, it is hurting its marketing campaign as people that are pro Johnny Depp supporters are sabotaging this movie and its marketing, putting out petitions saying don't see it so they can show their their will of affecting the movie market by lowering the box office return on this film. And it seems like it's working because DC Warner Brothers recognize this and they try to make a, a adjustment which was thwarted by Elon Musk. But let's go to the Variety article. I know they talk more about the things that occurred. Aquaman 2 flooded with drama. Jason Momoa allegedly drunk on set. Amber Heard scenes cut. Elon Musk letter to WB and more. And I think there is a, a lot of drama around Momoa who's just constantly drunk and just not organized on set not to mention that jason momoa showed up drunk dressed as johnny depp trying to get amber heard fire and just listening to these antics it's hard to believe we see that in the variety article they try to contact jason momoa's lawyer of course he declined to comment but the things you're hearing from the set are just wild of course he's not going to admit he was drunk on set being belligerent so i think that is a wild claim that we're seeing here but Anyways, tell me what you think about Elon Musk. Do you think he's a simp of the year? Do you think Aquaman 2 was sabotaged by Elon Musk? And do you think DC should maybe uh, sue him for it, for interrupting uh, their overall uh, production process if they lose money? Uh, leave a comment. Tell me what you think. Like, share, and subscribe. This is Wagner Knows Why. Catch you next time.